Hello and welcome to our quick tutorial video on how to upload TIFF files into the Slicer application. There are multiple ways to load data into your Slicer app, so this is just the way that I upload data if it's in a TIFF format. In order to do this, you have to have already downloaded the Slicer Morph extension, which only takes a minute, so if you haven't already done this, check out this quick video on how to download that extension from your extensions manager. Once you have Slicer Morph installed, you want to go to the drop down menu, hover over Slicer Morph, hover over Input and Output, and select Image Stacks. I'm going to widen my menu here so you can see the options a little bit more clearly. Click on File List and then Select Files. From here, you'll want to find the folder storing your TIFF files and open it. It can be helpful to click the Name button to order the images if they're not in numerical order. Then you want to select all your images using Command A or by clicking the first file, scrolling to the bottom, holding Shift, and clicking the last file. So make sure to only select your TIFF files and not any other documents in that folder. One important thing to watch out for here is if your computer has missed files in that section you can see here, every so often this happens to me and you just want to scroll up and if you find a missing chunk, hold down the shift button and click the lowest file, and then scan through the rest to make sure you've selected everything. If you've selected everything, then you can click open. Here you can see your TIFF files, the size of the data set, and the spacing of the images. You can adjust the spacing here before you load your data into Slicer. You can change the name of your volume that we're about to create by going to Create New Volume and typing in the name that you'd like. And you can choose the resolution size that you want to load the data in. You can use Preview, Half Resolution, or Full Resolution. You can see how the volume size changes as I adjust that resolution. For example, I'll use Half Resolution and then we can click Load. Depending on the size of your data, this might take a little while to load, so I'm going to skip ahead here. Now you can see our data is loaded into Slicer. So let's quickly visualize this specimen by going to the Volume Rendering module, toggling on the visibility, centering our volume, and adjusting the shift bar until we can see our specimen. And there you go. That is just a quick tutorial on how to upload TIFF stacks into Slicer. Thank you so much to the 3D Slicer team for making this amazing software free for everybody to use. And subscribe below for more workflow tutorials on modeling and morphometrics from our lab. Thank you.